Hello villain lovers, and welcome to a new edition of Classic Villains. Today we'll be taking a closer look at the villain, the Creeper. But before we start, let's make sure you do knows how much you appreciate this content by clicking the like button and also subscribing to see more new villains you love. Also don't forget to click the little bell icon to receive notifications anytime we release a brand new villain. Let's begin, classic villain. The Creeper is an ancient monster that can be mistaken for a person due to the cold, hat, pants, and sometimes boots combo it wears when hunting. A detailed look reveals that the Creeper monster is far from human. Although having some humanoid characteristics and would appear to be the male of its species, if there are others like it, Jeepers Creepers comic stories suggest that the Creeper took part in a human sacrifice during Aztec times and was responsible for the historic disappearance of settlers from America's Roanoke colony in the late 1500s. The Creeper wasted no time in murdering and consuming the crew, condemning him for the loss of the Roanoke colony in America's North Carolina. In terms of how he operates, he thankfully primarily sleeps emerging only every 23rd spring to hunt for 23 days. To survive, the creeper consumes human organs and uses them to replace whatever is lacking within its own body. This has been going on for generations, and despite numerous challenges, he appears to be difficult to kill. He's also bright, as evidenced by his ability to speak English in a deleted scene from the original Jeepers Creepers. It wore white hair, dark reptile green skin, and a mouth full of yellow fangs. A thin membrane connects a number of finger-like appendages around the top of its skull. The Creeper's powers are also revealed in the comics, with bits of its victim's souls inside his body. The Creeper is depicted as a rather twisted guy in all four movies. He seemed to enjoy torturing his victims before killing them. This not only allows him to amuse himself, but it also works well in instilling terror in his victims. However, when his time on Earth draws to a close, the Creeper can become incredibly violent and vicious, and he will follow his victims even if they are gravely damaged. While these are frequently held close to its skull, when it becomes agitated or angry, they flare out, giving it an even more monstrous appearance. Nonetheless, the Creeper is brutal and inhumane to his victims, even transforming their carcasses into grotesque art pieces that he subsequently places on his wall like a hunting trophy. Despite its age, the Creeper appears to have a fairly advanced awareness of modern human technology, weapons, and anatomy. He can always drive a truck and has even discovered a means to make it travel at speeds that it would ordinarily be incapable of. He also appears to understand the taxidermy process, since he can keep human carcasses perfectly preserved for decades and even uses leftover body pieces to make his weapons. This is the end of classic villains, The Creeper. Leave a comment about this villain, and let us know which other villain you would like to see. Villain you next time.